is Irene and welcome to my channel Living Around. Today I'm very excited to bring you to a really amazing little balcony garden. So come! Oh, thank you so much for Welcome. having me here. Yeah, you made it. Yes. Wow, this is this is like a magical wonderland truck. I didn't know you're an artist. Oh yes, very much so. Uh, <laughs> I dabble in a lot of uh, art, creative stuff. So mm -hmm. yes, as they say, jack of all trades. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, I only know you for your plants, so I didn't. Right, sure, sure. Painting. Yeah. Let's see more. Come over and see what we have here. Oh wow. So these are acrylics, acrylics on a uh, board. Okay. So something different. I started this series uh, with this sort of dimension. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a departure from uh, my usual uh, medium which is usually paper oh. so it's got a different sort of effect okay. and it brings up the texture as well of the subject that I'm painting mm, this is the anthurium yeah something I cannot afford so I tend to paint something that I cannot grow okay. or cannot afford to to buy okay. <laughs> so yeah I did that with an elbow too. Uh, right. Crazy price, the elbow uh, was in Jenna. <laughs> and, and then I, I bought one, but it died. Oh, condolences to you. Oh, yeah, did you see the Yeah, yeah video? very sad, very yes. sad. I'm sorry, so uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, is this a TV? I'm very no, curious. it's not, it's not. Everybody thought it's a TV. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just the background. It's a console. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Great. Wow. Look at. Okay, wait. There is so many things. So to see. much, too much to take it all in. I want to look at what's that. Right. <laughs> this is actually an installation okay. that I originally did for a cafe, which didn't take off. Uh -huh. So uh, instead of just leaving it there because I didn't get paid for it, uh -huh. I dismantled it, yeah. brought it back here, and voila! Uh -huh. And it's here in my home. I like that it gives it a really nice, cozy feel. Like the inspiration is that it's supposed to emulate uh, Visteria, oh, Jap you know, yeah. Japanese Visteria. Yeah. So, um, yeah, couldn't afford to go to Japan, so I recreated <laughs> again, I recreated my own Japan. Wow, I love the <laughs> creative spirit. Are these like eggshell? Um, yeah, egg trays. Egg trays. Yeah, egg, yeah, yeah. They're very effective. The color has somewhat uh, faded, but otherwise it's actually quite uh, striking. It's really quite magical. Like, I thank you, like thank in you. In the forest, <laughs> it's indoor. Oh, this is my wish list plan. The uh, very mine too. Was mine too. I'm afraid I can't. I missed the boat totally. Do um, you have it here, the real plan? No, unfortunately. That's why I paint it. <laughs> Very good idea. Paint the plants you want and cut them. Um, this is one plant that I really, really want. Yeah, but same I here. I can't have because my husband thinks there's a ghost in this. Uh, this oh, plant. He, he believes they uh, live lives in them. <laughs> right? Okay. He there's a Pontiana. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pontiana is like a female Malay. Uh, spirits. Spirit. Let's call them spirits. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I've, I've grown uh, banana here as well. In fact, they, they did very well indoor okay. in my living room. Indoor? To the point that I actually got a little bit worried, just like your husband. Oh. So I called a friend mm -hmm. uh, and consulted him. He said, if it gets anything taller than three feet, I shouldn't have it. Oh. So I got a bit worried and then uh, I got rid of it, unfortunately. Yes. But it, it looked very good in here though. Yeah. Ah, well. Wow, I see lots of plants here near the window. <laughs> yeah, plasma plants everywhere. <laughs> I love these ferns. They're, they're not perfect in here actually, but yeah, they're getting better because the air in here is a bit too dry, not right. enough humidity. Yeah. And this window here can be quite hot. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, when the sun reaches here, it can be quite hot. Mm. So this is a very difficult uh, space for me. Mm. So I, I usually put um, all my succulents, those that are hardy, sansevieria, okay. you know, and my epiphyllum. So those that can thrive, the extreme, the drier, the drier yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So. Yes, I love how the potters are trailing, creating this wow, unruly look. <laughs> if I have it my way, I will have them, <laughs> you know, all over. Oh, but yeah. yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy because as we go further in, yeah. the light source become, you less know, and less. less and less. Yeah. So unfortunately, I have to make do with some artificial plants as we get, you know. Yeah, I further. noticed. Yeah. I'm highly disappointed. Well, you know, we make do. We make do. <laughs> we make do. Ooh, what are these? Like cactus of some sort. This are uh, um, Apifalum, or locally known as um, Bakawali, but these are foreign species mm -hmm. uh, imported from Indonesia. So they actually have uh, coloured flowers, which yeah. we don't get very often here. Yeah, because uh, very they limited. mostly see white only. Mostly white, yeah, yeah. very boring. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I, I'm trying my hand at growing uh, different varieties which bears uh, colored flowers okay. so see what happens this one is china lake which is also another um, variety of epiphyllum mm -hmm. this one has got big yellow flowers oh. so that is if it flowers, flowers. <laughs> yes <laughs> um, it's all trial and error we don't know these are forest species yeah um, they don't flower as easily oh. yeah so, oh, yeah, it but it's worth trying. It's worth trying. I have a special interest in um, Apifalum, so I'm trying to get as many var varieties as possible. Okay. Yeah. Is this like what we see in the crazy rich Asian flower? Uh, well, that I have. Okay. That I have. Um, that is white, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So. And that's the more common form. Common, yeah, yes, yes, but also probably one of the most amazing. Uh, variety actually it's got big flowers yes. scented as well i have seen your famous one that it has 40 blooms at a time uh, yeah 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 it's gonna be blooming in about three four days from now <gasps> as well so i have to come again <laughs> yes but at night time yeah <laughs> supper for supper yes, yes. Good thing about you have labeled every plant. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's how I remind myself uh, what they are. Bucarnia recurvata. <laughs> and it's a new purchase. You remember the date when you Yes, yes, yes. Just preparing myself for my old age. You know, <laughs> when I bought it, what they are. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, to the untrained eye, it looks a little bit like an onion. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are uh, what we call uh, commonly known as horsetail palm. Palm? Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. Do you expect this to be able to grow quite Yeah, they big? do grow to quite a decent size. Okay. So this is just a baby, but that will take years and years oh, okay. to grow to a decent size. Okay. Fascinating. I, I don't really have a lot of plants that's like, a, like this or in, in dry, dry conditions. Oops. Oops! It's alright, just... Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay, now I want to go to the balcony. Well, the balcony. Come, come. It's so romantic about this, this very light branches. Oh, you should come at night. You should come. It's not real. Yeah, yes. really well, if yes. you have moss. For effect, for effect, yes, yes. Yeah, it's spectacular. <laughs> now the balcony. This way. Here it is. Wow. It's is, it, is it smaller than you thought? It's or? much, much smaller. Though. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> and how did you fit all these in here? Uh, when you want it bad enough, you will. <laughs> Okay, let's get the camera in. <laughs> All right, go, go. So just to give you an idea of uh, how big the balcony is, it's about 5 by 11 feet. 
I really love how we've got things trailing down, hanging down. Like the entire balcony is enveloped. Yeah, that's the whole idea is to try to junglify it. Yes. That's my word. <laughs> junglify. Wow, every corner I look, this place is like 360 degrees. Plans. Amazing. Okay. How long have you been here, Joe? Um, five years. Just five years. Five years. Yes. Uh -huh. And how long have you collected plants or been into gardening? Um, I would say I've always been interested in gardening. Okay. Um, I moved back here in 2012 from the UK. Mm -hmm. Even before I came back, I was doing a bit of gardening mm -hmm. uh, back in the UK. But because I was only renting a room at that time, yeah. um, there wasn't much room for you know, any gardening. But I slowly took over the living room, oh. uh, bit by bit, okay. <laughs> without the landlord noticing. <laughs> so at least I have a little corner uh, in, in my little flat uh, where I you know, indulge myself in a bit of gardening. And what sort of plants did you keep? Uh, well, um, surprisingly orchids actually. Okay. They do very well. The new hybrids does very well indoor in the UK. Oh. In fact, I had a lot more luck with orchids and cactus okay. uh, in the UK than here. Yeah, that surprisingly. So I know, I know. <laughs> orchids are from here. I know. <laughs> and they're cheaper. The cheaper as well. You mean over there? Over the there, yes. I think it's because um, Netherlands, yeah, um, you know, is a big supply. exporter supplier. So yes. that's why we got it very cheap. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> I don't even know what to ask. So <laughs> slowly take it all in. <laughs> with this balcony, how how did you start? What were what were your first plants? Oh, I I brought um, my plants from my old place here. Mm -hmm. I started with those. Uh, one of them was my um, bakawali here, which is tucked in the corner now. Um, this balcony is really good for it because I've had it for over a year in my old place and it's never flowered. Yeah. Moving here within six months started flowering non-stop. Yes. And that was five years ago and it's still flowering. Is this the one uh, that I keep seeing on Nope, Facebook? nope, nope. Okay. The other one that you saw was uh, is Pumilum. Okay. the miniature variety oh. so that one is on another balcony i have three balconies here you have three three balconies, balconies here what yeah I you yeah but those two are more like nurseries okay yeah so this is the showcase uh, balcony i know what you mean i have a corner in my garden where all the ugly plants and the sick plants are. yeah yeah and the dead one <laughs> yeah the dead <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I want to talk a bit about this plant that I've been standing in front. Yeah. Is this an alocasia? No, it's not. It's, uh, it looks like it. But this yeah. is Cetosperma mercusii. Oh. It's a very, very big variety uh, oh. belonging to the yam family. Okay. Yeah. So when I bought it, it was about one and a half wow. feet. Yeah. And it just started growing and growing. And this latest new leaf is taller than me now, so wow. <laughs> I'm excited and really worried at the same time because How have you, had it? Uh, you could look at the label there. I think less than a year, I would oh, say. Spectacular! You've labeled yeah, everything. Like I say, I don't remember everything. I have too many plants here now. Oh, wow! I love huge leaves. Yeah, like, you should get one. Leaves. Because a mature plant mm -hmm. would be taller than the ceiling. <gasps> yeah. Okay. So now you know why I'm a bit worried. <laughs> uh, okay. When you've run out of space, you can chuck it at my garden. Uh, well, you have to wait in line. <laughs> I already have potential godmothers <laughs> who oh, wants to adopt. <laughs> so many people want to yeah, adopt yeah. baby. Okay. Oh. I love this uh, Cupressia. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, also one of my favorites. Okay, I want to guess what it is. Um, is this the Gobliai? No, Gobliai oh, is here. Yeah. Yes, oh. because it would have a sort of a blue tinge, doesn't it? Because it's known as the blue fern as, okay. as well. But the blue might not show up because um, you know it's not getting enough light. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, the blue needs will show up if there is enough it's light. enough yes 
I always thought maybe the blue comes out if there's less light. Yeah. No. How's your doing? Mine's doing quite well. That's good. That's good. That's I'm good not to sure know. what it is. I think it's this one. Yeah. yeah. It's this one. I have about five varieties of Hopistia here. Mm. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Yeah, well, six at least. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I have to go through them one by one. What is this? I don't remember all of them. Here's, here you go. Um, this one was given to me, so I, I'm not sure. This okay. the mostly local species. Okay. This one is Carinata, I think. Yes, Carinata. Yes, Carinata. Quite, quite um, rare. Um, our nursery don't have a lot of. Yeah. So this is fish scale. Okay, yeah, I see this one. Yes. I used to I used to struggle with them until I found out what's wrong. Because they, they turn brown easily. They really need to be watered every day. Every yeah. Day. Okay. So make sure you have enough substrate to keep them moist at least. Yeah, I Yeah. So it's very important oh. to have enough substrate to keep the root moist. Oops, something dropped. Oops. Okay, sorry. Okay, I am I am extremely extremely interested because I have killed this before and I'm very um I'm very That's the trick to have fascinated. enough substrate, yeah. I'm very fascinated with how you're potting it. Oh my god, Chop, you have a beehive here. I certainly do. This is actually uh, their second attempt. Previously it was a bigger colony. Yeah. But um my upset neighbor filed a complaint oh. and I had to um, remove it. And this time they managed to settle before I get a chance to discourage them. So, but luckily they are a smaller colony this time, so my neighbor hasn't noticed it yet. So let's hope. But if I publish this video, he might know. Uh, he's not a plant lover, so I hope he's not gonna. <laughs> he doesn't watch. That yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is a recently conceived idea. I used to have all my air plants scattered around, yeah. so it, it doesn't create an impact. Mm. So I've decided to group them together and created this arch. Oh. Um, I used to have Spanish moss uh, on its own as well. Okay. They don't look quite as good. Now they look like, you know, they belong together. Yeah, I, I like how you are like with the twig and the branch it looks really really I want it to look natural and that's very important yeah I'm so busy filming I forgot what to say <gasps> this is the, the discala. Dioscoria discala yes so um, the leaves down here at the bottom is not getting enough light okay. so they look quite plain but if you see up there okay. where they are getting more lights you yeah, you can more. see the markings coming out. So when... Okay, there's just one right above me. Yeah. Too. So they're reaching for the sun now. Mm. I'm so close to the bee, I'm a little scared. Oh, you'll be fine. So the bees are here. They don't bother you, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a Hoya. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's Scott White. Public calyx. Okay. You can see flower beds now. Again, this is uh, an idea that I have. Mm -hmm. I allowed about two Hoya to have free range. So they can creep um, around yeah. my balcony. The idea is to have them flower and then I can have the fragrance all around oh. my balcony. So okay. there's one just above your head, which is going to open in a few days time. Oh wow. Oh, yeah, goodness. so there it is. And they're all fragrant. Mm. I'm not so familiar with Hoya. There are so many varieties. So many. Okay, I'm starting to see some arrows down here. Yes, centuriums. And this plant which is not 
Friedrich. What is it called? It's Alocasia Michelisiana Makowski Eye. Wow. Yes. That just rolled off your tongue. Yes. <laughs> I'm very impressed. After 10 cuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to see the potting mix you have. Could you tell me your secret potting mix? Right. Um, because I need to water my hanging plants very frequently, all the excess water tends to fall onto the potted plants below, who, which may or may not need watering. So I need to adjust the, uh, the potting mix of my potted plants. I mix the substrate myself. I call them hutan uh, mix. Uh, because it contains a lot of uh, organic material which is which will keep the plant moist but not waterlogged because they don't like to their feet to be you know uh, in water all the time so basically there are a lot of uh, tree barks dry leaves um, perlite cocoa chip uh, some moss maybe okay yeah so it, it's very good for my plants so just to emulate what's like in the yeah plant yeah or? that's why i call it my hutan mix yeah. because uh, i learned that from my hiking okay. so a lot of these plants are shade loving plants yes yeah we don't get a lot of sunlight so yeah this mix is really good for them okay i'm gonna try that so it's like um cocoa chip Cocoa chip, dry leaves, dry leaves, tree barks. Okay. Yeah, anything that is porous, you know, which and will not retain um, a lot of moisture. Mm -hmm. uh, a bit of soil, a, a bit, bit of soil, soil, just a little bit. Yeah. Um, perlite, if you have lacquer, lacquer is good too. Okay. Um, lava rocks. Pumice, do you use pumice? pumice yes, as well. Yeah. Yep. Right. For small pots, it's okay. Otherwise, it can be quite expensive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, there you go. Oh, I spot very nice Glorisum here. You have quite a number. Uh, I have three at the moment. Uh, they're not looking at their best at the moment because uh, I split them a couple of months ago while they were at their peak. So it was a very tough decision to make, but I think it's the right one. Um, so I managed to get three plants out of it now. Yay! Uh, yeah, they're not really expensive. Uh, very, very. To think that I got mine with just two leaves uh, two years ago yeah. uh, at 50 ringgit. Yeah. So now I think for one plant or at least one leaf, you need to add another zero at the back. Exactly. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So I'm glad I have this from one plant to three. So. Ooh, and, and this one is also a baby. Yeah, it's a baby. It's a baby. So again, using hutan mix, oh. the substrate, then they do very well. So, okay, let's look into his hutan mix, guys. Dry leaves, charcoal. Tree park. Tree park. And just some lettable. Anything that... Anything, yeah, yeah anything. Okay. How about fertilizer? What do you use to fertilize? I don't use fancy fertilizer. Um, chicken manure for most of my plants. Yeah, yeah, they'll do. And they don't stink up your place. Uh, f only for a few days, but it's all organic. <laughs> you know, yep. Yep. <laughs> better than the chemical stuff. Okay. So no problem with that. Wow. Yes. Okay. How about pests? Do you have pest problems? Well, I'm very lucky that I don't have a major problem with pests okay. only the occasional mealybugs and aphids but they're no big deal to me um, so I just get rid of them accordingly no problem yeah maybe because I'm uh, on the fifth floor yeah, yeah. Oh, Chokli, this pencil looking plant what is it called it's ripsalis well, is it uh, difficult it's not actually it's it's very hardy very easy going mm. I've got it uh, a few months ago and it's grown quite a lot. I think it loves um, my balcony. Yeah, they, are they a little bit succulent like? Because I see like they're quite... Uh, they're not actually because they love water. Oh. They look like succulents but they're not. Okay, that's great because my place, uh, it's subject to rain very well. Yeah, often. yeah, yeah. So it could... It goes very well with staghorn or fern. Ah. So think along that way. Is it difficult to find? Uh, this one is actually quite common in the nurseries. You just have to look for it. 
I can't believe I don't have this yet. I, I not yet, but you will. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good for my plant farm. Okay. And they're not expensive. Oh. This one was, uh, of course, it was smaller. It was yeah. um, just under twenty ringgit. Oh, such so, a good price. Yeah. yeah, I definitely want this now. Chokli, this one really caught my eye. Is this a fern? Uh, well, strictly speaking, no. <laughs> it's actually an epiphyllum. Uh, but the common name is called a uh, fern leaf uh, epiphyllum. Oh. So you can see why. Okay. Yeah, it looks very much like a fern. I have a special interest in this and I'm actually uh, propagating this uh, in my other balcony. And I can buy it off you later. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about this later. <laughs> it's, it's quite rare to find in our nurseries. I, it took me quite a long time before I managed to uh, find it in the nursery. Even then I had to back the owner to, to sell me a cutting. Yeah. Yes, so that's why I'm now crazily trying to propagate it for my own collection. I am not familiar yeah. at all with this genus of plants. Can yeah. you tell us more? Yeah, um, a lot of them actually originated from Mexico. Uh, the weather is quite similar to ours but with a slight difference. Mm. Um, it's very unfortunate that uh, this plant uh, most likely will not flower in our climate. Oh. They do flower. Okay. So they probably need that special change of climate. You know, they to, like to it do. a little what, dry or it's drier, I would drier. imagine. Yeah, unfortunately. Mm. So, but um, I grow them for their leaves. Okay. So the leaf is attractive, very attractive. It's a little bit succulent. It is considered a succulent. Oh, it is yes, a succulent? Yes, it's considered a succulent. Okay. Yeah. Epiphyllum chrysocardium. I've just reviewed what a plant idiot I have because I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all have to start from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it will do well in my area though. Mine is very, very humid. Uh, like just change the uh, substrate. That's right. Yeah, they will do well. Oh. They're very hardy. Okay. They're very hardy. They, they probably will do well in your garden. Or in fact, any garden. Just make sure it's well draining. Well drained, yeah. But they do love water. You can water them every day. As long oh. as the, the substrate doesn't stay too wet okay. all day long. Uh -huh. Yeah, every day. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna zoom into the name because you're so good. You've written the name of every plant. Yes. Ah uh, yes. Epiphyllum. Chrysocardium. Chrysocardium. Okay. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes! <laughs> Yay! Nice, okay. let's go sit out at the barbie. <laughs> okay, be careful. <laughs> yum cha! Yum cha, yum cha. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me here. I hope you've got what you're um, looking for. Yeah, it's much, much more than I expected. Um, <laughs> Plants wise, yes, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the balcony was smaller than I expected. Because you know you have so many things when yeah, you have pictures online. A lot of people thought you couldn't possibly fit that many plants into yeah. that smaller balcony. But I managed to do it. Um, I, I try not to have too much on the floor. Okay. Because then it would be crazy. I won't be able to walk. Uh, I yeah. won't be able to enjoy my garden. Yeah. So the only way is up. Okay. So I have... Um, chains and hooks you know put up on the ceiling on the wall mm -hmm. so that I can attach all these bars mm -hmm. where I can hang plants mm -hmm. so it all went up okay. so that's how I managed to uh, create this space oh, yeah 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 it's really yeah. amazing because I mean I have a fan I have a landed garden so this is really inspirational for people I think who have limited space Desperation. <laughs> Desperation. Yeah, I always say. Could you say how many plants you have here? I couldn't possibly. Couldn't possibly. I mean, well, how, how would you? Three digit, right? how, how would you consider um, the Spanish moss? Yeah, do you count it as one? Uh -huh. A bunch? You know, okay. 
so it, it's impossible. Mm. Impossible. I just know that I have quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and I like it how you have mentioned a lot like this is a normal plant, this is a common plant, and yet you can do so much with them. It's the overall effect that I'm looking for. Yeah. Um, I don't want to have just a garden with many plants. Mm -hmm. uh, I want my plants to create something. Yes. An atmosphere. Yeah. You know, a feeling. Yeah. Uh, or try and emulate an environment. Okay. Which is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to create uh, a forest. Uh, you know. Yes. So that's why the selection of plants mm -hmm. have to fit into somehow fit into my vision. Okay. Of what this balcony what I, I want it to be. That's a refreshing take because uh, a lot of people and sometimes me included I'll mm. just scroll through my Instagram and I go oh, he has this really nice plant <laughs> and I need to have that plant too without really considering you know does it really add anything to the visuality of my space. That's true that's true I think we get tempted very easily yeah. especially in Instagram yes you know um, but we have to be responsible uh, plant parent. I know. <laughs> I'm highly irresponsible plant parent. <laughs> but we, we do um, learn from our mistakes. That's yes. one thing we need to do yeah. is to learn from our mistakes. Don't keep doing the wrong thing. Yeah. You know, if we, if we try something it didn't work, um, find out. Yeah. Find out why it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Don't don't feel um, scared to try again. Yes. You know, if you try and try again, and in the end you just succeed. I sound cliche, but it does feel like you've achieved mm. something. You know. Yes. Um, if I did, I wouldn't have um, started growing Glorosum. Oh. You know, it, it was a difficult plant for me at first. Oh really? Yeah. So, okay. but then. Before it died, I managed to uh, quickly learn what it needs, and it's done uh, it's wonders. Beautifully now. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Okay. Which I'm very, very grateful. Hmm. Hmm. Which is really good. Have you tried some? Oh, I have. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I made them. You made them. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's got your name. Yep. <laughs> Mm. Glad you like them. Yeah, it's really nice and crunchy. Great. So, I think my takeaway here is there's a lot that plants could add if you really design it properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So be creative. Mm. Be creative with the space, and don't be afraid. Yeah. Um, to to try out. Mm. I, I've changed the layout here many many times. Okay. Plants have been moved around for goodness, you know, countless of time. You just gotta make it work. Yeah. Sometimes the plants doesn't do very well there. Yeah. So move it. Try somewhere else. You know. And then I think going vertical is very important when you have limited for a space, small space. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. There's no other way of adding more plants in without doing that. Yes. As far as I'm concerned. And plus, it gives you this nice enclosure. Yeah. Thing yeah. Too. Mm. Yeah, so your eyes, when you come in, yeah. you're looking you're you know, up, yeah. down, yeah, everywhere. I, I didn't know where to look when I came in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you forget that you're actually on a balcony. That's right. Right? Yeah. Oh, good. Thank you so much, Charles. You're very university. welcome. It's my yes. pleasure. Oh, what is this? It's durian waffle. Hope you like durian. durian. Yes. Mm. Durian, guys. Durian. Do you know durian? It's. It, it, it smells horrible, but it tastes really <laughs> mm, Great. So, my mouth is full. You do the talking. Right. <laughs> um, I'm often asked, would I move to a landed property? Yeah. Yeah, I, the, the answer now is yes, definitely. Definitely. If, if I'm given a chance to move again, yes, definitely. Um, it's very restrictive to what I can plant here. Yeah. Uh, I love aquatic plants. Okay. But they do need a lot of sunlight, mm. so which I'm not getting here. Yeah. So, yes, definitely. The the yeah. choices of plants would 
really explode. explode. <laughs> I think when you're in a limited space, you also really push yourself. Crazy. True, true, true. Yeah. Yes, yes. My neighbors for sale, so um, yeah. <laughs> later and check out next time. Okay, <laughs> get me a good discount. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we will do a wrap up now. Thank you everyone for tuning into this episode of this amazing balcony garden. And if you like this, please do click on the subscribe button and uh, choke. I would see you at my garden next week, maybe. See you next week. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye <laughs> everyone. Bye-bye.